Welcome back, everyone. This is Miriam from Ultimate Solutions. We're talking about the restaurant's management system and quick recap on what we discussed before. We went through the item transfer request and also the item transfer screens. And we learned how to create an item transfer request and also how to create an actual item transfer. So we also clarified before that you do not need a transfer request in order to process an item transfer. However, if you have an like basically an item transfer request, you can retrieve that information in the item transfer itself. Right now, we're going to be talking about how to receive a transfer on the system. First of all, note that you will have to process a receiving transfer for your item transfer um, for that transfer to reflect on the stock. If you do not process the receiving, then it will not reflect or change anything in the stock. Let's demonstrate that. We're already, uh, we've already created a transfer request and the transfer itself. And now we'll go ahead and receive that transfer. We'll open stocks, first of all. And then we will click on add receiving transfer. I'm sorry, we will open the screen itself first. Then we will click on add. All right, so you will select the branch. The document number and the date are automatic. And in transferring stock, you will select the warehouse that made that transfer. And receiving stock is obviously the warehouse that's going to be receiving that transfer. In transfer number, you will select the transfer document number, which is number one in this case, since this is the first transfer that we created on the system. But if you made several transfers, then each single transfer you have received uh, will disappear from this drop down menu. So if you've created like two transfers and you've received one of them, then that one will disappear. But if you've created multiple transfers and you have not received any, then you will find all of them in the drop down menu. All right, so uh, after you open the transfer uh, number one from the drop down menu, uh, we will click on add receiving transfer. It will automatically open detail data where it displays the transfer itself, the item, the measurement unit, and the quantity, basically the items that you're receiving. All you will do is just click on save and that's it. All right, so you also have the option to print this receiving if you need to. And that's everything regarding receiving a transfer. Thank you guys for watching and we will continue in the upcoming lectures.